Welcome to the Pew! Pew, where Igor is getting a little testy. A little stinky. A little stinky poo. And pew. Now, yeah, he's getting tired. We're doing a marathon a session. A marathon to the Pew filming. And I am eating box after box of crappy material. And my. I'm thanks to John Lapine. Hello, John Lapine. I'm vacillating, oscillating back and forth between. Uh, Crybaby tears and a uh, triamiclone acetonone paste. What is that? That this creates the, the um, sores in my mouth, and this uh, takes the pain of the sores in my mouth away. Well, I'll get so to that so that I can eat more crybaby tears. <laughs> okay, I'm having tequila. Mm, okay, but Pew does not advocate drinking. Mm, okay. Yes. Yeah. Who? Okay. What's today about? Today. We're bring back our segment, If We Were In Charge. Mm. Like your yes. brilliant plan. Well, Michael has oh a brilliant God, plan really for works. the New York City uh, Metropolitan Transit Authority. If they would just listen to him, everything would be good. Yes, and my idea is that the subways and the buses should be free. And they should, it would encourage ridership. It would take away the, you know, they're talking about the, the paying people, uh, uh, making people pay more money to bring their cars into the city because of the congestion in the street. Yeah, congestion would, pricing, it's yes, called. It would cut down on that. It would cut down on congestion and it would cut down on pollution and uh, global warming and everything else. Now, how did you get this idea? Um, because in- He lost his Metro card. In, no. Right? Um, because in the nightclubs, um, we, I gave away everything for free, <laughs> and that worked out really well. <laughs> um, as I recall, some of the nightclubs you worked at went bankrupt because your but, crowd sucked the money and life out of like, the club. Like sponges? Yeah, like sponges. Mm -hmm. I seem um, to recall a certain Ellie Diane complaining about right. your policies at the tunnel. He did complain about it, but he complained all the way to the bank. Rupt. <laughs> Where he <laughs> just like the MCA, <laughs> yes. Well, and they're charging now, but um, imagine how their how their ridership would go up if it was free. But but it's the same it's the same it's the same philosophy because when you let people into the club for free and you give them free drinks, the club is packed. Now, what club owner doesn't want a packed club? Think about that, and we'll be right back. We sure are cute for two ugly people I don't see what anyone can see in anyone else Yeah, it's so nice This is the library! Welcome back to the group you and bitches wanna know And Clayton S. says that on IMBD, what's that? Independent Movie Database Sounds like well, I would guess that that's what it is. I'm not sure, but you know, you know, it's that online movie database. Yeah, yeah. There is an there is a movie documentary called Glory Days: The Life in Times of Michael Alec. Ernie, you are also in this film along with others. If possible, can you please share some details for a release date where I can see it, buy it, jerk off on it, or anything else I want to do? Um, that would be amazing. Well. Um, I don't know when it's going to be released. I do know that it was um, submitted to Sundance. Isn't Sundance going on right now? Um, I don't know. It's yes, in fact. I don't know. I think it's in January. It, I, doesn't it take place in some snow? I don't place? know, but it's good. Yes, it's in like Denver, Colorado. Denver, Colorado. Yeah, but it is coming out within a matter of months. I don't know how many months. I would say three or four, uh, something like that. Yeah, I, I know we were talking about it earlier, and I had suggested to Michael or asked him why Ramon Fernandez, who's the director of the film, didn't just release it straight to Netflix or uh, Hulu or some other one of those other online streaming services because, because it would just be. It seems so outdated to have a, mo a documentary at a movie. Yeah, theater. but it's all part of the formula. They they have to release it at a theater first in order to get like that chunk of money. It's just an added chunk of money that they can get on top of um, the. All of those things you said. Oh, so it's all about money. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, well, well I didn't get any money out of being in this. No, movie. what he does. Oh, okay. Well, it is documentary, so I didn't expect to be paid. No, I um, mean, he probably doesn't expect to make a lot of money because people don't make a lot of money on. Oh no! I mean, considering the amount just of time, just like just like World of Wonder, who claims 
that they, they, they don't make any money, and yet they're making Party Monster 2 to make less money, I suppose, to lose more money. Yes, and this time Party Monster 2, the S in Monster will be a dollar sign. Or a negative dollar sign, according to them. Um, um, I'm pretty positive it will be positive. Well, Fenton Bailey is positive it will be negative. So we will see. But if, it's, if they're not making money, why would they make a second one? I uh, good question. For Think the, about that. For the sake of art. art. It must be for the sake of art. Yes. Because they care so much about art. That's it. Okay. So this is also. So what it's coming soon. Yes. Stay tuned. tuned. Glory days. The theater near you. Um, if you live in London. City. Um, Otherwise, it will be Netflix. Yeah. Um, hooping with Kurt. What? Hooping with Kristen. That's her name? Yeah. That's, that's her name? Yeah. Hello, my name is Hooping with Kristen. Maybe Kristen? she plays basketball. No. Oh, okay. Or she mm -hmm. wears big earrings. Michael, where can I get a copy of Shampoo? Oh, Shampoo Horns. That's, this is a really interesting story, actually. I don't think you knew you know this. Um, Shampoo Horns is what in this day and age... Speaking where, of movies that didn't make any money. Yeah. <laughs> well, but this is, it's interesting because in this day and age where everything is available, you know, everywhere, at the finger... To the, drop of a fingertip or something, whatever the thing is. Um, shampoo horns is not, and that's because the director of the movie, Man Manuel Tolendano, I think his name was, Yes. Uh, we gave him a heart attack, and he died. Um, and uh, he did not leave the movie to anybody. So nobody has the rights to the movie. So nobody can release it. Nobody owns it. That's awful. It is awful. Well, don't you have a copy of it? I do. Can't you just throw it on? I mean, I suppose I can because nobody nobody owns it. So eBay, right? It's public domain. I I don't know what happens in a situation like that, but I mean, like, I, I guess you could post it. Because really, think of it this way. And this is the law, the lawyer in me talking. Mm -hmm. If you have a lawyer in you, yeah. <laughs> well, I've had several lawyers in me. What were their names? <laughs> you don't remember. Bradley <laughs> and George. Uh, anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about. Have you ever been in a lawyer? Yes, mm -hmm. Bradley and George. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's an equal partnership. Mm -hmm. It was quid pro quo. Mm -hmm. Great, so I got the legal off. terms. Come pro quo. <laughs> if the lawyer in me says that if you were to put that on uh, Hulu or on one of these other streaming services, if that movie has nobody that has the rights to it, then who would have the power to sue you? That was my point. So. Technically, it could, that movie could be considered public domain. So maybe we'll try to figure that out. And, and maybe I'll just co-opt. Maybe I'll be like a squatter. Shampoo Horns by Michael Allen. Yes. <laughs> maybe I'll squat. Squat. In, I'll squat inside the shampoo horn. If chair. anybody wants out there wants to help us cyber squat shampoo horns and get it online streaming, mm. contact us. Mm -hmm. I think that's a and then we can promote it. A we'll, huge challenge. And we'll split the money. 90, 90, 10. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. Bye.